on this episode of the Carolina Sports Guy, kind of dive back in, folks, again on the Carolina Hurricanes. Somebody that we need to bring back. Maybe not option one, two, and even three, but somebody I feel like we have a little bit of play with that we could bring back, and I think we should bring back, unless we can work a trade for something different. Before we get into today's video, make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be notified of future videos like this on Hurricane. Pound that like button. And by all means, folks, leave Uncle Chucky some comments. I love the dialogue. All right, folks, today I want to talk about Martin Natchez. He is a restricted free agent, so we're not handcuffed. He is an up-and-coming talent. Uh, really, the thing is, Seth Jarvis came on this year as a rookie and blossomed and bloomed. You think he did a, a slump, a freshman slump, or whatever you want to call it, a rookie slump. Playoffs and the guy moved and played incredible as small as he is and just did outstanding. He reminded me more like of a Jeff Skinner, um, uh, you know, Jeff Skinner esque, although Skinner at times was really electric. I saw some of that in Jarvis, I just, but Jarvis played both ends of the ice. And it's something Martin Natchez didn't take advantage of. You think Natchez has got some speed and he's got some ability and he can really whip it around and he can shoot and but he doesn't pull the trigger when he needs to, and sometimes he just does these outstanding plays, but he doesn't finish. Now, do I want to lose Natchez? No, I don't want to lose Natchez. But Natchez can be somebody involved if we can bring in, if we're willing to pay the money. Let's say we lose a Trocheck or a Nita Rider, or we have some money freed up and we need to bring in, whether it be somebody defensively or a high-end offensive guy to, to increase the offense. Natchez could be part of a trade. He could be. Now, if we can come to an impasse and we don't trade Natchez, I don't think we'll just let him walk. He's got too much talent and ability. And we, like I said, future trade could be involved or he could bloom and blossom and he, he could end up replacing somebody on this roster. Um, just could be somebody, you know, we see what he can do. I'd say a bridge deal for, for Martin Natchez is coming up. Get maybe a two-year deal, give him a bump in pay, give him a raise. He deserves it, but not break the bank. Um, and we're going to have to come to that agreement because Natchez is going to want more money. But keeping with this organization that drafted him, I think Natchez from the Czech Republic is going to be an outstanding player. I mean, the guy, you know, so far 45 goals, 74 assists. He's been with the Hurricanes since 2017 when we drafted him. 12th overall in the first round. He's just 23 years old, folks. He's already put up 74 assists and 45 goals. Playoffs, though, zero goals, five assists. And he had a couple of open looks against the Rangers, and he didn't take it. Even Boston, especially the Ranger game, when we really needed him to produce, and he did not. But I do think sometimes guys hit this. Let him come back next year. Give him a bridge deal. Let's bring him back. He's got a lot of talent. If he breaks through, great. He deserves to be paid, whether it's by us or somebody else, or work a trade. Or maybe we decide because somebody gets hurt, or you got a guy like Jordan Stahl that might retire after this year. Bring Natchez in on a long-term deal if he really tears it up. It would be something they can do because you don't always get a great prospect like this. And we got guys like Ryan Suzuki. Who knows if he's going to develop? Some of these other guys, you know, Chatfield down on the farm, you know. Uh, Jake Drury, I think he's ready. I think he's the next one coming up. Jamison Reese looks good. But if they don't come up yet or we need to do a deal, maybe Natchez stays. Something that could be you know, worked out. But I think Martin Natchez, a bridge deal, give him another year to prove himself, two at the most. If he does well, try to sell him long term. If he doesn't, we let him walk. Or if he's somewhere in between where he looks like he's still got potential or can really, you know, looks like a shiny object for another team, maybe we can work out a trade. But I definitely think we need to bring him back and see what he does for the Hurricanes next year. It's somebody I don't want to lose. And after letting guys like Brock McGinn go, and of course we lost Morgan Geeky in the expansion draft to Seattle, and one Fogel was traded with for Ethan Barrett, the defenseman, we can't let all our offensive talent get away. And Natchez being a 12th overall pick, it was somebody that I just have a lot of hope for that he can come around. He just didn't quite peak where we needed to this year, and he's close. So let's bring him back and see what happens. Okay, folks, what do you think of today's video? Do you think Martin Natchez should be given a bridge deal and brought back? Do you think Natchez should be traded, or do you think we should just let him walk? 
Leave me some comments. I love the dialogue. Pound that like button. Hit that bell notification. Be notified of future videos like this on the hurricanes. And by all means, folks, subscribe. It's free of charge. Help Uncle Chucky out. I will see you next time on another episode of Carolina Sports Guy.